Hey guys, I just want to jump on real quick and do a unboxing first impressions of a little pencil case that I bought uh, from Amazon. I have about, I think I have a 36 set here. Um, I think there's missing a few colors. So I wanted to get a pencil case that I could put them in so that I could see all the colors clearly and easily. Hopefully it'll be easier to choose the colors I need. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. So it just comes in this little plastic envelope with no branding on it. There's a little sticker on here, but nothing else. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, so really simple. It seems shorter. I mean, I guess that's how high a pencil is, but it's nice. I thought it was going to be a little bigger for some reason, but this is lovely. has a very convenient strappy here for your taking it out on a night's art walk or something like that. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using that, but that's cute. Let's just take that off for a minute. Um, yeah, so it's sort of a fabric. I don't think it's waterproof, but it's probably, I think it was water repellent. So hopefully that will uh, repel anything if you spilt on it. Keep your pencils dry. It's sort of just a canvasy fabric here. Um, so it's got three zippers, so three layers, and these zipper pulls. Yeah, opens really nicely. Doesn't get caught on anything. Let's see inside. Oh yeah, so it's gray. So it's kind of a shiny gray fabric here and it has stitching looks really good. Nice and clean, no big loose ends to catch in the zipper. Yeah, that looks good. Seems pretty good quality. Um, yeah, so this guy was about, I think it was under $10, maybe $9.50 or something like that. And they had different colors. They had a pink one and a blue one I believe and maybe a like a light gray and I just chose the black just you know nice and plain and I think the interior maybe the interiors are the same color they might be this sort of mid gray on all of them um, but I'm not sure I'll put the link below so that you guys can check it out uh, so it has this sort of bigger gap here what could you put in that maybe a big paintbrush or something Nope, that's not going to fit. <laughs> I don't know what you put in there. Maybe these are for maybe an eraser and a sharpener. And then maybe something else. I don't know. I don't know if I'll use those guys. But then these are the pencil holders. So let's see how easy they are to get a pencil in. Let's choose a really tall one. Probably the white. I don't really use the white much. So I guess you should put it in uh, butt first instead of head first. Just so you don't ruin your lead. Yeah, so that was super easy to get in. It's pretty, it's a pretty loose fit. Let's see if they're all, yeah, so they're all about the same. But I don't think it's going to fall out. It's super easy to get in there, super easy to get out. I think even putting it head first, if you're careful, should be fine. Yeah, it's great. Let's put a couple more in just to see how they sit together. Yes, that was really easy to get in and out. Let's see how it zips up again. Super smooth, no catching on anything. Let's shake it up a little like it was in our bag. Huh. Wow, they're still in there. So that's cool. Yeah, I think that's going to work great. So let's just open the other compartments to see. This is the middle one. So that's just an entire section of for pencils no different sized ones and this is the last one yeah so you got two full spreads here and then this one with a couple of weirdo spots here and it looks yeah there's enough clearance so let's actually let's put pencils on the other side Yeah, so that was super fast and easy to get in and out. I mean, even pulling it out that way, you're not really, this isn't really touching this part. It's not at such a bad angle. So you could even pull it out either way. And it's pretty easy. 
So you just want to make sure, I guess, that these are not touching the zipper when you close it, otherwise your leads will get munched. Let's close it up. Yeah, perfect. Okay, well, I'm not sure that there's much more I can explore or highlight for you guys. Um, I guess I'll do, I'll visit back if it fails terribly. Otherwise, you can assume that it worked out well. Um, oh, yeah, well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!